okay this video is a extension video okay so instead of uh, we have already looked at the production of x-rays so how x-rays are being produced uh, how to control the x-ray we're not going to talk about that in this extension video we're going to ask some what if question here what if what if my favorite kind all right so my extension questions are as follows for example i'm asking what if or what happens to the spectrum if i increase the filament current but the accelerating potential remains the same Second question, what if the filament current remains the same but accelerating potential increases? Third one, what happens to this graph if both the accelerating potential and the filament current is the same but the target metal is replaced? I don't care, I replace what, just replace with new thing. All right, so you can pause the video and try to sketch first. To see whether you get the main ideas around what causes the spectrum to look the way it does and how to vary it. Pause the video. Figure it out now. So I hope you have had your answer ready. And let's see what the thought process is like. So for the first case, you, when your filament current, I'm just going to call this I. When your filament current increases or changes, this one will affect the number of electrons, which will affect the number of x-ray photons and when it affects the number of x-ray photons it will affect the intensity so basically if i increase the filament current i kind of expect every reading of this to increase everything will be higher okay second thing what about the accelerating potential let's say we call this v v remains the same if v remains the same v has to do with the speed of the electrons that bombard the target metal. Okay, that means this one will have the X-ray photon are harder. All the X-ray photons have more energy. And this will affect your cutoff wavelength lambda naught. All right, so I think basically already answered the first two. So let us try to draw. Filament current increase, uh, accelerating potential remain the same. So this means all around the lambda naught is constant. So you will still have the same value for lambda naught. And the we are putting the same metal. So the characteristic lines are still the same. Uh. So to make my life easy, I'm going to mark out the characteristic lines first. Okay. And then I will draw what happens when the filament current increase. So you get more photons. But the photons don't always have the same amount of energy. I mean, it still has the same amount of energy. So basically, you just have more. Lah. So this intensity is the number of photons per unit time. I'm going to try my best to draw the... Okay, this is the graph that you will get, the orange one. You will see that the characteristic lines are still the same because the target metal is still the same. But overall, generally, the intensity will have increased, maintaining the same threshold wavelength. First graph. But the second one, we keep the same filament current, but now our accelerating potential increase. So two things will happen here. We will get uh, less. We will get, so we will get electrons with a larger amount of energy. The distribution will be distorted a bit. But we are keeping the filament current the same. So the number of electrons is the same, but each electron will collide with the X-ray at a larger speed. Okay, so in this case, uh, I will now draw the second one. Obviously, the threshold wavelength will change because now we have more energy. All right, and you will get this second graph. Okay, let me zoom in a bit so you can look at it. So once again, the characteristic lines are all roughly at the same place. Or I try my best to draw them at the same place because it's the same metal. But in this case, you will see that your lambda, your new lambda knot is less. So your lambda knot has shifted. So if you're asked to explain what is the effect of changing the accelerating potential, the X-ray is harder. So you can see you have more hard X-rays here, this part. So small lambda is hard X-ray, remember that. So yeah, and then after that, the soft X-ray here will be less intensity. Because don't forget the number of photons is still the same. So the total number of readings will still be the same. Okay, so if you have more readings here, this part will go down lah right to compensate 
okay so once again you can see if i want to change the hardness of the x-ray i will change the accelerating potential so you have more hard x-rays on this side of the graph if i want x-ray with more intensity i need more photons i'm going to up the current of course i can increase both at the same time so then you will draw both an increase in reading overall throughout the graph and an increase in threshold wavelength not threshold cut off wavelength mm, cut off so i guess the point here i'll write maybe i'll write a note here for you okay so first case filament current increase uh, accelerating potential remain so you could say the description here would be the entire spectrum has a increase in intensity but track uh, cut off wavelength cut off wavelength and characteristic lines remain okay so entire spectrum will increase in intensity cut off lambda and characteristic lines will stay the same okay what happens if the filament current stay the same and accelerating potential increase so in this case what will happen is that the most important thing is your lambda naught your cut off wavelength the threshold wavelength lambda naught will decrease okay this is because the energy of your photon x-ray photon decreases right this is because your accelerating potential increase ma. so the incoming electrons hit the target metal stronger and because it hits the target metal stronger then what we will get is a greater x-ray photon energy okay so that's the first thing that we can observe second one is about the proportion of hard and soft x-ray we have more x-ray this green color curve more x-ray photon larger intensity for the hard x-ray so hard x-ray the intensity increase soft x-ray intensity decreases so the, we can see from the sketch both i and v remains but the target metal is replaced okay don't forget the purple looking graph in the middle is the original graph so if i put a new target metal the characteristic lines will change i think for this one i will use maybe blue yeah blue so in this case uh, everything is the same it's just that now your emission lines lines will be shifted or changed change to what doesn't matter depends on the atom okay so the emission lines will change but the continuous spectrum remain okay so what that looks like would be something that looks like this so yes it will look like this you can see the emission line all shifted already this is a brand new atom they have brand new lines the red one is underneath continuous spectrum is still the same because we didn't change the hardness or the intensity of the x-ray all right so this is how we can use actually the va unique value of this wavelength to determine the energy levels okay so in this extension although i don't think recently they have covered in the a level syllabus this is just an, an extension in case you are asked to explain what happens or what if filament current increase or changes or the accelerating potential changes or we replace the metal okay so please understand the in the current in the filament this heating filament or creates more electron if you increase it so it affects the number of electrons which, which affects the number of photons which affects the intensity so current increase you can see the orange graph all the intensity increase if we change the speed of the electron by changing the accelerating potential name also accelerating potential what so the x-ray photons will have more energy more energy this will affect your cut off wavelength lambda naught so you can see your lambda naught has shifted you also have hard x-ray a little more hard x-ray so the intensity of short wavelength hard x-ray will also increase whereas the intensity of long wavelength will decrease i write short form here but you know what i mean green graph is below here above here 
Okay, and finally, if the current no change, that means you will not change the continuous spectrum. Because the first two cases, right, the continuous spectrum changes, the shape of the dinosaur back changes, but these spikes or the line stay the same. The line will only change if I replace the target metal with something else. Then I'll get something like this. Lines will change, continuous spectrum looks the same. All right, so this is all about the behavior of x-rays. Uh, basically, different different experimental setup in this x-ray tube, we can get x-ray of different quality. We can have intense, we can adjust the intensity of the x-ray, meaning how many x-ray photons you get. We can also adjust the energy in individual x-ray photon. X-ray is light particle. So maybe each x-ray photon have more energy, it is harder. Harder means more penetration. More penetration is safer for use. Okay, so in the next video, if you're watching this ascension, in the next video, we are going to look at how X-ray images are formed by varying the, the hardness and the intensity to get good contrast, good sharpness, good image. All right, that's it for the ascension video. Good on you. You are learning more stuff, getting smarter every day. I will see you in the next video. Adios, amigos.